hello guys this is santosh and welcome to tech design so in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to make this particular part model exercise so we are going to go to part model and we can start doing this model so most of the commands will be from surface workbench so swept command we are going to use for this modeling so let's get started so what i will do is i'll just go to file and new here in this one i'll just select a model and i'll just keep it a name as it is and i'll just click ok and you can see here this is our part modeling workbench so here i'm going to go to sketch and moment so let me go to sketch moment and here i'm going to draw a simple sketches so this is my first line the dimension should be for this is 180 okay and then again there will be a one more uh, you know, line here with 100 mm okay and then there is a line again okay and then there is an arc here okay so here what now what i'm going to do is i'm going to give some dimensions to this so press d so this dimension is going to be 12 mm and this dimension is going to be 15 mm okay and whatever this uh, arc will have a radius of 94 and this will have a radius of 98 okay and then we have a construction line here so this is going to be our construction line so let us make it as a construction and the length from this point to this it is 220 okay and uh, whatever this curve is there i'm going to mirror it so go to mirror and select a single curve here and i'm going to mirror it here okay so the whatever the extra line is i'm going to trim it by using a t command and let us see if you can just make them as a tangency okay so now i'm going to draw a line here and this point should lie on this line so press c point on a curve so this point should be on this curve okay so you can see here one auto uh, dimension is left so let us see what is that okay you can see this length so we are going to trim it okay so now our sketch is fully constrained and now we need to create a fillet here the uh, so press f and go to fillet and give it as a 50 mm okay so this is our first sketch and everything is fully constrained now so we are going to finish the sketch so in this one what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to revolve so i'm going to only revolve only this profile so for that i'll got just select a single curve and i'm going to revolve this curve okay so my vector will be along this and my point will be this point okay so it should be 360 degree and it should be body type should be so uh, solid okay so you can just click okay so now uh, i'm going to create um, helix so for that i'll just go to menu insert curve and helix over here and this helix should start from this point and it should be along this direction okay and uh, you can see the diameter i'm going to provide it as 100 mm okay and the pitch should be 225 and end limit is also 225 so this is the curve helix that you need to create and once it is done you can just click okay okay so now uh, we need to create two lines so for that i'll just go to curve okay let me hide this first and then let me go to menu insert and curve line here okay so from this point to this point i'm going to create one line and i'll just click apply and from the same point to this i'm going to create one more line okay so these are the two lines i have created so let me switch on this now and once it is done i'm going to make a swept command so go to surface swept command and this curve i'm going to swept the guide curve will be this guide curve 
and there will be one more guide curve so add a set here so new set and go to select this okay so once it is selected you can see this is the curve we need uh, this is the swept we need surface so we can just click okay so once this is done we need an intersection curve between this surface and this model uh, sorry body so how you are going to do so go to curve and select intersection curve and uh, this time i'm going to select this body and here i'm going to select this face so whatever the intersection between these two body and surface there will be a cur curve generated so that curve i now just need so i'm just click ok so this is the curve that we need and now let me hide this body and this body okay and this is also so now this is the curve we need and uh, now what i'm going to do is i'll just go to sketcher environment on this plane on this plane okay and i'm going to create a sketch on this point so let me create a circle with 10 mm diameter okay so that's all the sketch is fully constrained so you can just finish the sketch and when this is created we i need to you know make this swept so this is our curve and this is going to be our section or guide curve so let me go to surface again and swept here and now i'm going to select this curve and my guide curve will be this okay so all the you know options remain same here so i'm going to click okay so now we don't want this so i'll just hide this as well okay so now we are going to make a pattern for this particular swept so go to home and here pattern feature so i'm going to select this swept and it should be circular pattern so the direction will be along this and my point of rotation will be this okay so i need six quantities the span angle will be you know 360 degree and you can just click ok so once it is done you can see here our uh, profile is ready and now what i'm going to do is i'll just go to sketch on this plane again so let me show this yeah and here i'm going to create uh, one more circle with 36 diameter ok so now finish the sketch so again whatever this sketch i have created i have to sweep it along this direction okay so go to swept again and select this curve and my guide curve will be this okay so once it is done you can just click okay so now i need to uh, mirror this on the other side so how we are going to do so go to mirror curve uh, mirror feature here and select this swept so my plane will be bisector plane so i'm going to select a bisector here so bisector is nothing but it will create a plane in between two faces so these two faces are given in between that two there will be a face created so this face uh, this uh, you know datum plane will be our mirror plane okay so let me click okay so you can see here this is created so once this is done you can just uh, unite all the surfaces all the bodies you can see these are all different different bodies so we can just go to unite and select one body and select all the other bodies and you can just click ok so once it's once it is done you can just hit ctrl w and hide everything show only solid bodies and in this solid bodies we don't want this solid body you can just hide this so this is our uh, complete model guys so if you have any doubts on how to create this so comment in the section below i will try to answer thank you guys